This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is in Soil Science Playlist, looking at the difference or the terms in soil we know as topsoil and subsoil. So check it out. So these two soil divisions, these two soil terms are collectively known throughout society, agricultural, farming, even going to your backyard or back garden doing some, you know, casual gardening. Maybe you, got, maybe you want to get a green thumb or something and you start to hear these terms. You go to a home improvement store. You know, in your local town and you see bags of topsoil and you see uh, the fertilizers and you see all the organic material and you see all these commercials and adverts about how to grow the crops and your plants better in different times of the year and different climates. So you've seen these terms. It's just these are not exactly scientific terms. They are collective terms for an area of the soil, but they're not really that scientific. However, the topsoil is probably most famous, and it's obviously towards the surface of the soil. It includes a lot of the organic material, a lot of the plants, vegetation, a lot of the burrowing animals and, and worms, bacteria, and the mixture of those four constituents, which is the water, air, organic material, and mineral particles or mineral pieces. Things like sand, silt, and clay, and you get larger mineral pieces like the pebbles and the cobbles and stones. So the topsoil includes the, the O and the A horizon, which are the top, and or O stands for organic material, and the A is a very high level of organic material mixed in with the mineral particles, and obviously has a lot of pore spaces due to it being close to the surface without too much Gravity pushing down and compaction with all the with, with less weight above it. Uh, topsoil also contains a lot of nutrients. It's also very productive for growth of vegetation and biota, and also can contain a lot of humus, which is the result of decomposing material, both plant and animal material being decomposed, and also various species of fauna. Then we have also the important part of agriculture. So the, in, the industry of crops, grown food, farms, both the small local farms and the large industrial farms anywhere in the world, producing the world's food, whether it's corn, maize, wheat, rice, you name it, it's going to be important that topsoil is a big part of the management of the soil, how to cultivate the crops and to regulate all of the nutrients and the irrigation, the water within the soil to make it the best and most productive growing environment. That way, when you, when you do tillage, when you till the soil, when you plow the soil, you know that it's going to turn over and the topsoil will be able to continue its fertility and its growth. Then you get the subsoil. Subsoil is below the topsoil, obviously, like submarine or subterrain, and you get the B horizon, which is the main layer in the subsoil. Now, B horizon is a buffer zone between the parent material and the C horizon and the upper topsoil, which is the more fertile part of the soil. It contains some organic material, which has been leached down. Some areas contains the mineral component of the soil, which is the sand, silt, and clay, but the clay is very important. The clay it's brought down to the B horizon through leaching and percolation through water, and it is a zone of, of accumulation. So B horizons, where you get a lot of the nutrients kind of build up, they take the percolated colloids, which are the small particles, and they grab all the nutrients and stick together, and that's what makes the, the soil so fertile. So it also is kind of the, the bottom area of where the animals will kind of burrow, and also could be a boundary for how deep the roots can go as well because below the roots going to be below than the subsoil there really isn't any kind of space 
for water to get down because of the compaction and there's not much organic material either so it's not really that advantageous for these trees to have roots go down that deep some do but most are not most are in the topsoil and the subsoil thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you like it please subscribe and hit the like button and if you like more on this content please check out my channel which has all these videos on earth science